All right, well, depending upon how long or what this game is, this could be a very quick second game, but we are playing Aquanox, which is kind of like a one of the uh, space sim games, but underwater. <laughs> I really like the game Treasures of the Deep for uh, the PS1. It was like a sub-shooter kind of game there. Uh-oh. We shall see how this game plays, or if it even loads. Oh look, it's a green skin Cortana. This came out in 2001, I think I said. Uh, I breathed in the cool, pure air, tasting the rich oxygen and nitrogen. My eyes filled with tears. The sun hovered behind the horizon like an orange fireball. Sunny, that was the latest buzzword. It was talked about now with every breath, and suddenly I knew what it really meant. I stretched out my hand to feel the warmth, to touch its face. Then the timer squealed and a voice roared in my ear. Simulation room S23, your time is up. Please move to the fast decompression chamber. Two hours later, I was back at the helm of my ship, the Zucubus, leaving the pleasure centers of the Malay archipelago behind. The nanofabric of my pilot's seat massaged my body as I accelerated on full dipole drive, spearing into the black heart of the lifeless ocean like a nightmare shattering a dream. But the oceans were no longer as dead as they seemed. Scientists brewed gene cocktails and chromosome soups without sanction, rebreeding every life form within range of their test tubes. Mighty sharks, dolphins, even the greatest carnivores that ever lived. Primordial beasts that had terrorized the oceans 150 million years There's ago. some exposition right here. The scientists did what they pleased, including creating new branches of life where evolution refused to go. They earned so many credits with their tinkering that even the most powerful computers struggled to keep up with the total. But behind the glittering facade of tungsten, titanium, and niobium, the calcareous whole of human existence was crumbling. The frequency of mass disasters increased dramatically. The muck runners, psychotics, high-tech slave drivers, gene adulterators, and slick techno-dealers prowled everywhere. Plunging habitats Split and dwelling into chaos. Years. My name is Emerald Deadeye Flint. What? I'm tracking down the remaining bions scattered throughout the oceans. Did you say his name is Emerald? Each one a potent germ posing danger to the world of Aqua. Carry out the Viant mission with my four wing pilots, Grange, Piccolini, Harper, and Bonham, and my onboard computer, Sally. Clients are international, representing every government. Have we hit peak exposition yet? When the Viants appeared out of nowhere five <laughs> years ago, aiming to extinguish human life in the oceans, I had no objection. On the other hand, it didn't hurt my cash box any to give humanity a short reprieve, so I went for the credits. But during the destruction of the Bayon stronghold off Australia, called the Servion, my friend Hong Long sacrificed her own life so I could place the final explosive charge. Now I don't <laughs> sleep too easy. And I won't till every last remnant of the Bayon threat has been eliminated. <laughs> My last job was in Neapolis, oh the capital of the Atlantic Federation. Neapolis, home to the eccentric techno No, this is the first game! A genetically zapped and nanotuned group wasting their senseless lives trying to establish the optimal political system in Aqua. All the while, Neapolis sinks deeper and deeper into a slick of pseudo-democracy, racism, techno-devotion, and corruption. Now the new line, <laughs> who call themselves Democrats, are making the capital Wait. ungovernable, leading only to endless discussions, bureaucratic acrobatics, and a weakened city with a leaderless army. What the hell is going on here? 
I was glad I was finished there and on my way to the tornado zone in the eastern Pacific. People take drugs in the tornado zone instead of ingesting nanorobots for cures. We've had about eight different ones so far. Into free action as well. I was homesick and I missed every screwball and dangerous freak who'd be waiting there to greet me. <laughs> On the way, I made a short side trip to the Argentine basin to see my friend, El Topo, the mole. What? Nobody pulls strings like El Topo, who can get almost anything done behind this the politicians' backs. This never going to begin, backs. is it? El Topo murmured something to me about an important job, a secret scientific sensation. I got a little bored until he came to the part about earning lots of credits. So I went to Magellan and spent a I, few I hard hours at Mariner's Pride, a rotten worker's dive, where I downed mid-brain assassins with a few old friends. What? Just as the world turned into the carousel I was hoping to ride, I caught sight of some jerk clearing off with the Zuka bus. I had never thought about that happening. Someone just stealing my ship out from under my nose. But there it went. Suddenly I was back to square one again in my old stomping ground. What? Broke, exhausted, and listing heavily. So the whole point of that story was nothing. Oh god. Shut up, Harry. Why? I didn't say a word. Just because. His name really is I don't want to hear anything about... The hero got his ship stolen? By a handful of poor neo-yuppies. <laughs> I'll get the Zuka bus back. And then I'm going to examine Wait, the prostate gland of that butthead who took her with her bow. Uh, still as hard as... Okay, can we play something here? We are developing a chocolate made from highly refined insects. Sounds great. Pay attention to the delicate nut flavor. We see the... Are there enough amino bits? Of course. What the hell am I playing here? Zubamophone? Wait, did I just buy something without knowing it? What in the hell? Why is my torpedo named Stanley? I did something. Some impressive water. How was your vacation in the clans you surface simulation? Light. I heard about your mishap. Yeah, man, yeah. Please. Perry gave me a graphic. <laughs> there aren't as many of them now. But there are still enough bions to give you What's sleepless a nights. Suggestion. You'll get a lightning fast high tech cruiser. How about getting some guys in the R? <laughs> oh no, I'm not waiting when to the job's that. done, come to McGal. Like, my name is Com Call me Flint, Commodore. Dead eye is reserved for friends and mortal enemies. Oh my and God. don't forget your cra Boston Hopper! I think I'll make Okay then. I have a couple of belts with the ground. At least she knows how to drink. You should see the bucket of bolts, Elma. So what? The heck? What in the hell am I looking at here? Okay, can we actually... Okay, here we go. I think we can actually try and fly or swim. I think we're on an underwater world or something. Hope we get more exposition. Hi, Flint. Oh. Where is my Zuka bus? What kind of wreck are you hauling my circuits around in? Holy mackerel. Do you remember oh, the high up a couple of years ago? Just before the Bionce came on the scene? That was awful. But this tin can. Couldn't you have asked El Topo if we could get the high up? Okay. Show me what you can do. I've put a navigation point on the junk pile. Just follow the arrow. What? Oh, wait, I can actually... Oh my god, where are these controls? Okay. I think so. Oh my. Alright. Zoom. Shoot. Oh god. Why 
Why won't you turn? Stop. Where's the scrap? Is this the scrap? God, what am I looking at here? They were blowing stuff up. Oh my god, this turning. It what the hell? My mouse is like not working all the way. Oh god, I can't even change settings while I'm in game. This is gonna be very poorly, folks. Turn. What in the hell is going on here? Turn. And apparently this was popular enough to get a second game in a Kickstarter. Where's my objective? Anyone know what that two and three mean? This ain't. Killed everything. Those are some realistic explosions, aren't they? Attention, Flint. Oh, no. A cargo ship reports contact with a biot unit. I put a navigation point there for you. Move out, baby. Computer is being sassy. The what? freighter has lost her cannons. She's moving across the debris without defense. We've got to clear the way before she springs oh, good. away. Good escort. I think that cargo ship captain's head is as thick as a plank. Go help him, friend. Cargo ship reports serious trouble. Biont scrap parts floating in its course. The pilot is angry. Hurry up, Flint. The cargo ship's captain reports damage to the hull. He can't take the wreckage bombardment much longer. Oh, I can't even get there. God, it's like Superman 64 on roles of escorting. Thing that we're doing right now. Uh, this guy runs into me and kills me. You all remember that story, right? It's all about aliens and uh, Topo. A job well done, friend. I just did something. I don't know what I just did. <laughs> Done? This dot hole. 
playing. Oh no. Hooray! The hero returns from. Please, it wasn't the capture of Troy. By the way, as the boss. Yeah, let's go, boss! My torpedoes are starting to rust in the tubes! Hey, friend, don't overdo it or you'll be walking the plank. My what? torpedo tubes shine like a great white's teeth. Let's go, Pling some I really hate my like entire crew kids, right though, now. Topo. Pretty wild, huh? That's okay. Lease is a lot of fun. <laughs> There's a clan's you. Doing? There's not much to do in the Argentine base. We fight for every. Well, I'm afraid you won't be getting one from me. My friend Leone and I just came up. Oh, what's the from? problem, honey? Are you dense? Extreme low frequency waves turn people's brains into mush. Talk to Leone. Okay. What can I do right now? Jeez, Flint! I feel like I hear they're having all that. Okay. Salam. Ooh, my friend Flint. Light into sleep. Salam to you too. Smart suits with an organ. Hey, since when do you sell technology? You used to sell high-end luxury yes. stuff. Ooh. Uh, all right. Come on. Oh wait, we can do something. What help are they talking? Oh, good. I hope every mission is an escort mission. That's right, there's no way to leave this game. I've got a call for help from a Caterpillar driver at the scrapyard. There seems to be some kind of autonomous reorganization of rudimentary biont parts. They're coming back to life. Of course. We'll meet at the navigation point. From there, you will be his escort. Goody. Damn! I can't locate the bio! Too much electronic trash out here! Causing echoes and false reads! Still, I got a few ghost signatures. There's something moving, but I can't get them fixed. Lisa, what do you say? I suggest Harper and I wander over the scrapyard and scan it for activity. If you need help, just lure that by and reach toward us. We should go to navigation point one now. Next destination, the marked object. Oh god. I got something. Jump piles with neural activity. Am I going to get copyright strike for this music? This is not worth it. Oh, uh, I can't turn. Where's Chow? He would like me doing Bower Wolves in the sink. Can't turn it again. Wait a minute. Found some more controls. Okay. Or V. Another piece of debris with neural activity. Why is the music sounds from the 90s? This game came out in 2001. Why did that guy die so much faster? For 
thought the game navigation. crashed. So is this essentially Wing Commander, but in under the sea? In terms of its structure? Oh no. Let's go to navigation point two, Flint. What? Oh good, the song's over. This new ELF radio transmitter. Extreme low frequency. On one hand, it guarantees excellent communication with ships, but on the Yeah, the citizens of Aqua are a bunch of ingrates. What in the hell is with this story? Okay, so apparently I can buy a new gun. Can I repair my ship? Who names a ship Drowsy Maggie? Okay. Alright, so we can buy... What in the hell am I looking at here? Alright, I'm gonna buy a Vendetta... Two? Sure. So now... Okay, so we have two guns now. Right? Oh, here's a bit of a confusing thing for the UI people watching. Right turns the weapon off, left turns it on. You would think it would be the opposite. Oh no, I have to keep talking to these people. Light, Leone. I think they seasoned the steak with Epsilon taste intensifier. It's making my neck tight and burning my nerve. Well, everything good has a... Ah, well, so what's not... How's the Galapagos? Okay. I know you guys really want to hear all this exposition, but I think we're going to skip it. The people are right. Oh, re oh. and try yeah, to get to another it. mission. Oh. Friend, enough with. And I'm after the slime ball. Come on. Okay. How many missions is this game, by the way? Please tell me this is like a 50-hour game. The easiest way to find the ELF communication station is to follow the ELF cables on the ocean floor. Vespucci is a bit impatient. They're worried about their ELF station. Wait, I can only have... What's the point of having two guns? You only put one at a time. Your music reminds you of like those shows that came out during like the Hercules and Xena era in the 90s. Follow the mark object. Are we done? Uh -oh.
Who yeah. like this universe never so far? Radio station is reporting a heavy attack. We gotta hurry. Flint, the freighter is sending a distress signal, but the communication center is more important. <laughs> what are we doing? I'm sure this is more exciting to watch in Fortnite, right? Turn. <laughs> By the way, I don't know what that yellow bar is at the top of my screen. Is that shields? Is it health? Oh 
good, more exposition. Well done. Although you took because of this death trap you offered so generously. Relax, I'm uploading your credits. And now for... Count me in, Flint. I'm gonna oil my torpedo tubes right away. Oh my goodness. Wait, what is my ship? Is that this? Oh, we have shields, apparently. Hmm. Oh, don't tell me we have to buy ammo. ship's noise level. Alright. I don't think I can handle this much longer. Let's move on to game number three before this music drives me crazy. That was Aquinox. Right there. And yeah, that is early 2000s, I guess, sea futuristic sci-fi ship combat. But let's do something a little bit more modern now.